Air Force One arrives in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. The US president here to recalibrate relations with a country he'd promised to make a pariah. And this is how he greeted the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, a fist bump with a ruler accused of human rights abuses, including the brutal murder of a journalist. With respect to the murder of Khashoggi, I raised it at the top of the meeting, making it clear what I thought of it at the time and what I think of it now. And it was exactly, I was straightforward and direct in discussing it. I made my view crystal clear. What happened to Khashoggi was outrageous. He basically said that he, uh, he, he was not personally responsible for it. I, I indicated I thought he was. Dissident Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi was killed in 2018. Last seen walking into the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, he never returned. US intelligence agencies say the Crown Prince directly approved his murder. This weekend, Khashoggi's fiancé tweeted what she imagined her partner might have said. Is this the accountability you promised for my murder? The blood of Mohammed bin Salman's next victim is on your hands. Energy and security prompted these talks. Saudi Arabia, the so-called central banker of global oil markets. Washington hoping to boost supplies. But this is the image many will take away. This display of intimacy, say critics, delivers a one-time pariah, redemption. Rebecca Barry, ITV News.